what's up fox pack silent here back with another video today we're just gonna vibe out we're gonna go through an average day in the average joe life of silent and go through the process i'm gonna start by just uploading some videos from my camera to my computer so i can eventually work on editing those videos and then check my email hopefully it doesn't take too long and i get to painting because that's really what i want to do today Okay, so that took longer than expected, but I'm glad I got that done. Of course, I did some snacking, got some water during the process, but I feel like now that it's been a couple hours, my son is tired, so, well, not tired, he's bored. So I think I'm gonna take him out on a walk. It reminds me to take a break too. So we're about to just go chill, enjoy the weather. It's semi-cold, but not too cold, so I'm, gonna enjoy this to be honest so now i'm just gonna feed a hero and then as he's eating i'm going to just look at opportunities or search for opportunities for artists like exhibition work commission work just something where i can financially support myself and then get to the best part of being an artist which is making artwork Oh, and I also want to mention if you're from Minnesota to check out MN Artists and SpringboardArts.com um, just for like art opportunities, art jobs, grants, residencies, stuff like that. They have a lot of things where it's like easy for you to just go on one site and find these opportunities to apply for instead of just like searching for the opportunities. And then if you're not from Minnesota, I recommend um, Creative Capital. I know they have a lot more international and national grants and residencies and stuff like that for artists. So I just want to mention I do love supporting other artists. So anytime I have like resources I use, of course, don't feel free or don't feel free. I mean, feel free to reach out to me, whether it's through the comments or my Instagram, which is silentfox.studio. After doing all that computer work, I finally get to be creative. So right now I think I'm gonna prep canvases. I really wanna practice oil painting cause I love how it blends and how smooth it is and I never really done it. So my friend gave me some small canvases and they're really good quality, but some of them are kind of loose. So I have seen a couple techniques where you can like put a little bit of water on it and it tightens up the canvas so it makes it easier to paint on. And then after I do that, I'm going to gesso the canvas, which is basically protecting the canvas in some type of scientific way so it doesn't damage it while I put acrylic. No, I'm putting oil on it. It doesn't damage the oil or the oil doesn't seep through the canvas. That's what I think that's what it's doing. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I just know as an artist, you're supposed to prep your canvas and that is one of the steps you gesso paint varnish so that's what i'm about to do and right now i'm just in the gessoing phase and just prepping the canvas so i can learn or just practice oil painting i feel like i don't have an idea of what i want on these canvases but i love doing series so Basically, my series are usually a multiple of an even number, some sort of even number about one theme or topic. I'm thinking cartoonish just because I naturally love like anime, cartoons, video games. So that's where my mind goes to first, but I don't know like the theme of it yet. And so as I'm gestling, I'm trying to think of some things and to be honest, I think I just need time to doodle and step back after just wing because I think I'm overthinking it at this point. But once I find an idea, I definitely will record the process and share what I've learned and what more information I feel like I need to learn to continue the process. But for now, I have some client work I have to do. Well, I have two things I have to do for sure. And one, I do have to sketch out some ideas for a logo design about environmental justice. So I basically wrote down notes about a survey that I gave to my clients and I'm gonna start sketching ideas. Do I know what I'm doing right now? Absolutely not. So I feel like eventually I'm gonna have to 
get some inspirations from somewhere and high key and less than five minutes you're gonna see me pull up pinterest because like i do love logos that are very simple with only minor shapes but then i also kind of want to challenge myself and do logos that are like typefaces or like just the name of the company in a creative way but for now i don't know what i'm gonna do so i think that's why for me sketching is so important because it allows yourself to just be free and creative and just like make something that is initially on your mind just to see what it looks like and play around with like different shapes different text to be honest you could throw some glue in it add some color some collage work just to get your initial sketch ideas down i know some people also use mood boards so remembering that if sketching isn't working don't stress yourself out and go to pinterest go to instagram go to tiktok and look for references that spark an idea and maybe possibly create a mood board that can help and inspire you to create sketches of the project. I completed the first page of sketches and feel like I just wasn't in the mood to do the logo. So I'm gonna pause on that and just set up my watercolor palette so I can start creating these watercolors. I'm supposed to be having them done within the next week, which I feel like I can do and accomplish very easily. This is for an art exhibition that is gonna be a part of a confluence or what's titled confluence, but it's gonna be part of a convention for just nerds, BIPOC artists and stuff of that sort. I feel like I could talk about it longer, but we'll be here for hours. So I'm just gonna try to shorten it. And so within this um, convention, there's gonna be an art exhibition that I'm gonna do a comic book with watercolor. And in a sense, it's not even gonna be a whole comic book. It's just gonna be a big page of a comic strip and each page is like a part of the initial comic strip so it's not going to be on one big one it's just going to be divided into six small ones so i finished three of them so far and i just have the last three to do and let's see how it goes they're mostly all sketched out i just have to do some painting <laughs> fox pack this in the end of the video i hope you fight off me and if you did like always thanks for vibing thanks for sticking it out to the end i really appreciate that don't forget to like comment share and subscribe of course that would help this channel and my goal to hit at least a thousand subscribers that's my minimum goal so please feel free to share my page just to other artists or people you know that would vibe out with the page um to be honest it's really late as i'm editing this video so i'm just gonna relax for the rest of the night i hope you guys get a chance to relax and with that being said i'll see you in the next video because i'm out you're out peace out bye